Where are you off to this morning, sir? Go buy more internet. It ain't working right now. This is gonna be a journey to get really good internet, so we'll keep you posted. Trade. Trade. I love you. Love you. I've been trying to post on Instagram for like 15 minutes. We'll see if this ever posts. Anyways, I'm gonna make some breakfast and then I'm gonna actually get ready for the day because I can't stay in a t-shirt all day. That's like a habit I'm trying to get into is actually putting real clothes on even if I'm not like going anywhere because it just helps with the productiveness. I literally just organized this kitchen cabinet yesterday so I'll give you a little tour of it in a bit. But for now, I'm gonna make my oatmeal. If you guys were around for Rookies on the Road last season, you would know that my oatmeal is just the love of my life. And I actually haven't made it that much lately because as you can see, these ruled oats are not very portable. So yeah, when I was backpacking around Europe and stuff, I couldn't exactly bring this. So I was eating a lot of instant oatmeal, but now I can make my feast again. So for this, I use oats. I have this uh, vegan vanilla protein powder. That just makes it extra delicious. What else? Cinnamon and blueberries and almond milk. And that's it. So we're gonna make that now. <laughs> Gotta get a little almond butter on there. I either use almond butter or peanut butter, but I went to Trader Joe's the other day and then decided to treat myself, so. Almond butter it is. A little more on top. Yummy. Gonna have some of this and then get a little bit more work done. Hopefully this Instagram will post. I don't think it's going to. Yeah, it hasn't budged. Still at uh, like three fourths. Okay, that was so lucky. It literally just posted like right after I stopped record. We did order a WeBoost. So we have a WeBoost for the car and that actually works super well. We have an AT&T and T-Mobile hotspot and then our phones are Verizon, but it's just still like not super strong. There's connection, but it's super spotty. So it just cuts out all the time for no reason. The WeBoost helps out a ton. So we ordered a WeBoost for the RV, but um, it doesn't get in until Thursday. So we've just been kind of making do with it, but it, the service was just so bad this morning that Dylan decided to go to the store and fix it. We're figuring out this whole internet thing and we're gonna bring you along for the ride because I know that a lot of people who are in an RV or work remotely or thinking about doing it this is definitely like the biggest thing that's sort of putting doubt in your mind I totally get it because I was the same way it is challenging but it's totally possible so we'll keep you updated on what ends up being the most effective we do have Starlink like I mentioned before but it's not covered on the East Coast yet hopefully it will be soon but it's fully covered out west so when we go out west next year we'll be using Starlink a ton but for now we're just gonna need to figure out you know hot spots and we boost situation Like I mentioned earlier, I did work out yesterday and I'm really, really trying to get in shape, but more importantly, get into a routine of moving my body on the road. This is something I've gotten away from so much, especially while international traveling, but I do think that being in the RV, it's a little more sustainable and feasible to do it. So my workout equipment, I have these three bands. I'm gonna go with the light today. I went with medium yesterday, but I'm very sore. So we'll see what we even do today. And then I have these two five pound dumbbells and then I just have my yoga mat so yeah that's my workout gear and i'm gonna see what i get up to in this workout probably a lot of stretching maybe a little pilates we'll see So 
we're currently staying at Lake Glenville, which is in southwestern North Carolina. I actually came here a few years ago with my family on like a summer vacation. We stayed at a lake house on the lake. This place is stunning. The waterfalls here are ridiculous. So I knew I needed to come back and bring Dylan. And I found this campsite here. It's right on the lake, full hookups for like 140 a week, which is absurd. There's RV sites and there's primitive camping sites. Yeah, we really just wanted to come here kind of chill out for a little bit get a bunch of work done and then on the weekend we'll go explore some of the waterfalls so that'll be next week's video will be us kind of exploring this is obviously a work day work week I think it's gonna rain soon seeing some dark clouds rolling in and I wanted to go to this little beach tonight like five minutes away and go and like bring a little picnic but we'll see if the weather allows for that because it's like 40 50 percent chance of rain like all evening but stay tuned Okay, so I was so organized the other day. I was so prepared, and I don't want everything to fall out, but I pre-cut up more veggies, and it just eliminates all the cleanup. I'm so excited. Except I'm not kidding, the literal bane of my existence is starting this oven. It is so difficult for no reason. I haven't actually been able to do this by myself yet, so we're just gonna be in this together. So basically, you gotta turn the propane here, and then you turn the thing here at the same time to different temperatures, so... Ugh. So far, not so good. Oh wait, I'm dumb. I usually do this and I kind of forgot, but it actually is helpful, apparently. You want to put a little bit of propane on the stove, but this basically just pulls the gas out, so you can turn on this a little bit easier. What the heck am I doing wrong? If any RV experts out here know what I'm doing wrong, please tell me because this is so annoying. I'm an independent woman until it comes to turning on the propane oven. It's very difficult for some reason and Dylan did it last night in four tries, which is a record. Lucky for me, past me was uh, extremely prepared. I also meal prepped some pesto pasta. So that's gonna be lunch. So I made this yesterday, it's fire. I pretty much cooked the entire box of pasta and then I put the Trader Joe's vegan pesto in it with some cherry tomatoes and it's so good that pesto guys is fire but i'm really gonna try and do more meal prepping mainly just for like a couple days so you know when i make a lunch or a dinner i'll just make extra and throw it in a tupperware like this by the way these are amazing they're these collapsible tupperware so they're really easy to store and then you just open them and whoa pop it up like this and you got a little Tupperware and it doesn't take up extra space in the cabinet. So highly recommend these. I'll link them down below. Oh yeah, look at that deliciousness. Try not to spill it, but I want you to see. Oh yes, cheers. Oh, we've got a big boy neighbor coming through. Oh my God. I don't know how he got up here. It was such a windy road. That is humongous. Okay, so I'm just gonna jump in the shower real quick, but I had to show you this new shower head that we installed. Oh, crap. I'm gonna go turn on the water heater. Boop. I don't know what Dylan ordered, but it's the most magical shower head ever. I don't think you're gonna be able to even tell like how magical this is. Let me just turn this on. I just don't think you're gonna be able to tell, but it's like the softest water. Oh my God, it feels so good. It's just like soft. I don't know how to explain it. First of all, if you get a trailer, an RV or anything, just don't even don't even try it. Just replace the shower head. They're always terrible. I'll link this below because it's awesome. But yeah, anyways, this is the shower. We put an old mat down there. It's pretty nice and roomy, so. Okay, so I just set up my whole workstation. I'm gonna start editing a little bit because the internet's still not good, but Dylan should be here soon. I just heated him up some food because I rock. But uh, yeah, gonna get to editing soon. Currently exporting some footage and then I'm gonna upload the rest. When there's no internet, you edit. That's just, that's just what you do. Hi! Oh my gosh, yes. Okay. We got some wine and bread. So Dylan's been working very hard on uh, figuring out the internet situation. I think we found a solution for now. All right, educate me, sir. 
internet master. So this is just an AT&T hotspot. I went to T-Mobile and Verizon, so I also have ones from them as well. But because we're somewhat in the middle of nowhere, we're kind of in a valley, so it's hard for the cellular network to get in here. Thankfully, I have a Wii Boost, which this big black antenna essentially pulls the signal from local towers or your closest tower and makes the signal stronger. And the catch here is that WeBoost has cell boosters for different vehicles. So we have one for the car, but it won't work for fully in the RV. So you have to like be in the car for it to work. So that's why we ordered one specifically for the RV that's coming in on Thursday. But this is like our temporary solution. So this little red box right here is what does all of the magic. Mm -hmm. So essentially one cable is going to this uh, antenna out here. It's powering it, so making the signal strong. Longer. And then I have another cable that when we go inside of the truck over here, it just broadcasts your cellular network even better. So what's really cool right now is typically we're getting like one-ish, maybe two bars for Verizon. Uh, but when I come closer and I put my phone basically right next to it, I'm now at three and sometimes it even goes up to four bars. See, four bars right now. Essentially, that's what we're doing is we're going to put the hotspot right next to it. And now we can just connect our devices, so our computers, our phones, whatever, to the hotspot. And that's what's gonna give us our internet. So when Thursday comes around, the other antenna and the cell booster uh, it will be here. We're gonna install that onto the trailer. Yeah, we're gonna install it like, Put the antenna like right up there and then loop the cable down into the trailer, right? It'll just come in, yep, it'll just come inside. That way I don't have to have right. the truck right next to And plus our, our office is right there. So it'll be right, perfect perfect spot. So, we <laughs> the best. Okay, so I've just connected to the new Wi-Fi. So we're gonna do a little speed test. This is the, the real test here. Okay, ready? And... <gasps> 56, 70, 72. <gasps> yes! We were literally getting like two before this. Hardly. <laughs> yeah, if we were lucky. So this is fan freaking tastic. Yay! You're the best. It's us. <laughs> So Crosby's unable to figure this thing out. Shut so up. She needs a man to do no, this job. No, no. I'm an independent woman until it comes to the freaking oven. I can't do it. It's so annoying. I need to watch this very closely. You hold and and then you push and hold. Wait, oh. And it's, it takes a few times. I know, I told them you did it in four times. And I, I tried it for like 20 minutes. Three. Are you kidding me? Just like that and oh my god. The blue flame means there's gas. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. <laughs> Hi. What are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? I am editing the video I filmed today. <laughs> Cause that's just the vibes. Sometimes I'm in an editing mood and that's right now because also then I get to get a little wine tipsy and we're just chilling. This is also extremely realistic, is it not? No, this is What's what we happening? always do. I know, because I feel like, and let me know if you guys like seeing these videos because I don't know, it feels boring to film, but also this is so normal. Just, did you mention that you took three naps today? I did. <laughs> I did not at all, are you kidding me? I have been doing so much. I laid down for 20 minutes and watched TikTok. Apparently that equals three naps. Okay. Nope, incorrect. <laughs> incorrect. Well, now that the oven is on, I'm gonna make my veggies. Something I love to make, because it's so easy, is boil in a bag rice. Literally just boil water and the bag of rice for like 10 minutes and then you have lovely brown rice. So there she is. I like them extra crispy. I'll leave them in a little longer. We love a crispy potato. Mmm, those can stay in there. So the rice is done. So you literally just cut open the bag and you pour your rice however much you want. And I'll save the rest for later, obviously. I'm just gonna eat all the, mm, maybe not all. I'll eat some of the broccoli because I have a bunch of sweet potatoes. I forgot to click record, but I just put the sweet potatoes in here and burn my fingers. Love that for me. How do you make any meal better? You drizzle balsamic glaze. 
on top. Oh yeah. So I'm excited because the weather has cleared up. So I'm gonna wolf this down, which by the way, yum. And we're gonna go to that little beach. It's like a five minute drive. I don't know if you'll be able to see the sunset, but we're gonna go there at sunset time. So gonna eat this and we'll go have a lovely night. My shoe I'm getting the sand off but yeah we're gonna head back now and just like clean up and go to bed read a book do something like that I'm very tired but this was definitely a very realistic day in life so let me know if you liked it and want to see more obviously we'll have lots of adventures coming soon but sometimes the mundane days are good to film just to show you the realities but anyways um thank you so much for watching make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one bye <laughs>